Hey, how's it going guys? Wonafo here, and today I'm going to be showing you all the best working scripts for Pet Simulator 99. So I actually have three different scripts for you guys today, and these have some really overpowered features on them. Like you can finish your quests insanely fast with these auto quest completers. You can automatically use your items, claim rewards, do machines, and stuff like that. There's really fast auto farms and egg openers that can let you farm coins and gems way faster than normal. And if you're looking for any of the links to these scripts, they're all going to be in the description. And there's also going to be a tutorial video linked in the description that's going to show you exactly how you can bypass the new Roblox anti-cheat. It's this video right here with two easy methods you can follow. And starting off with my personal favorite GUI out of all of them, that has to be Skyhub. And this one has the most features on it specifically for quests. As you can see, you have auto collect coin, auto collect loot bag. So if you're farming in an area, you usually have to use like a magnet flag or something like that. And if you're using these two features right here, you can just sit in an area and all the coins that spawn are going to go directly to you. And also right here, you have the auto farm. So for example, if I want to farm in the diamond zone, I can click on auto farm coin. And as you can see now, it's teleporting me to this area instantly and auto farming it. The second tab right here, you can either collect all your gifts. There we go. Collecting all the gifts in the map. That's for the uh, Santa event, the Christmas presents. By the way, this is real presence. Like it just collects all these for you right now. Um, sorry if my game's lagging a little bit here, but as you can see, our gifts are going up. It's insanely fast. I'm not even touching my keyboard right now. And before I show you the rest of that script here, my friend actually just made this site where you can buy the cheapest gems and huges possible. They do items, they do eggs, gems, huges, everything. And as you can see how cheap this is right here, you can buy 15 million gems for $50. You could buy 2.5 million gems for 10 bucks. If you're going to use the link in the description, that's going to give you 15% off. You can also use code 99 for 9% 9 off. So you can get these for probably around 5 or $6, which is honestly a really good deal. And you can get huges for like less than $5 on this site as well. And it's really fast to deliver them. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about this. The link will be in the description. I come back over here to the script. As you can see, they have all this other stuff down here. Like you can claim all your daily rewards like VIP. You also have all this other stuff here like the auto fish the auto mining, which is in the dig site, um, the obbies right here. Let's say I have a pyramid obby quest, which I do. Let's try to play it here. It'll play pyramid obby, teleports us to the pyramid obby. Now it should start playing this for us. Okay, so it is. So as you can see, it's gonna bring us to the front, wait a bit, so just to not trigger the anti-cheat. And then once it finishes this timer, it's gonna automatically teleport us to the end and finish the obby. I'm gonna count down here, you can't really see it. Okay, so 48 seconds. By the way, I'm using Delta. That's gonna be linked in the description. 54, 55, 56. Then after around a minute, it's going to teleport us to the end. Okay, there it goes. So it just teleported us there. And that's one minute, seven seconds each time. So it's actually faster than I was able to do it normally. But yeah, that just makes sure that the anti cheat does not catch you and they're going to like think that you're doing something wrong. As you can see, they have complete the minefield, which let's see if they have a quest here for it. Autoplay minefield, Abby. As you can see, it's going to teleport us to the minefield. We could do this quest now. And of course, you could do your better quests as well. It doesn't just have to be these like one star quests. You can see it's like building a line there on the left. So it's kind of figuring out the way to the end automatically. And whenever it finds the path, as you can see, we're dying. And it's almost there. There we go. That was insanely fast. Like honestly, just within 10 seconds, we finished it. Even stuff like this Atlantis minigame, which isn't even an obby, it's like a minigame where you have to go through these rings, you could do this one as well. For example, if I have this um, 15 chests in the dig site, click auto dig, as you can see, it's going to pick them up for us. You can kind of like count how many chests you're opening based on how your coins are going up. But once you get to 15, you could just stop it. Probably like five, maybe six chests. Okay, 11 chests. That was really, really fast. You'd normally not be able to do it even close to that fast. In that amount of time, normally, first of all, I would I would have had to walk there, teleport, go to the area, start digging. My shovel isn't even that good, and I would have probably had two chests. And with this, you could do it almost instantly. You can also automatically hatch pets, of course, which is right here, the auto hatch. So every quest that you can ever get is going to be on here. I'm not really sure what this means. I think that's like just the legendary rarity, like some of these pets that I have here. Um, which one would it be? Something like this one. Yeah, exotic, I think it's called. But yeah, let's try the other one. Let's try the Atlantis minigame, which isn't even a real minigame. It's just kind of like a... I mean, it's not really an obby. It's like an actual minigame. So I click this. It'll teleport us to the Atlantis area. There we go. Goes to the first hoop. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Probably going to get me a new personal best here. Let's see. So six seconds, seven, eight, 
yeah definitely gonna be a new personal best and we will be getting the quest and the rewards from it but yeah i mean this completely automates the entire game it's really really insane and the key system for this gui is really fast as well i think it was just like one link for ties or something like that it was really easy to do which is kind of surprising for a lot of scripts these days um let's leave this area oh we already did leave so we just got our rewards and yep there we go now let's say i have a quest for collecting 20 potions i could do that right here go up a little bit or okay yeah right here so auto buy potion vending machine teleports us to the potion area it's going to automatically buy the potion vending machine which gives us four potions i guess and then we could do the rare potions vending machine which should give us some as well so right now we're at five okay that only gives us one do the potion vending machine one so this is incredibly way more fast than if you're going to do it normally. So just like that, after a few quests, now we have uh, three or more rewards we can claim here from our rank. Pretty cool. And moving on to the next tab here, we have these blocks. This is going to be for your items you can use. So you can use potions, you can use... Uh, what is this down here? You can use like these fruits, you can use jars for some of the quests that are going to ask you to do jars. I know a lot of them do that. Um, you have the coins flags you can use any flag in the game you just select it from here and if you are just trying to auto farm overnight this is an insanely useful feature here because as you guys know the flags there's no way to automatically place them there's no way to automatically put down a coin jar there's no way to automatically replenish your potions or your items so if you're going to use these features here you could just be auto farming in the best area you have with these automatically use a damage potion for example whenever they run out the auto fruits is insanely useful as well because if I was going to just like click on auto use apple, auto use banana, orange, pineapple, now whenever these fruits run out, it's going to automatically put down another one. So you're never actually wasting fruit, but you're also never going to run out. Same thing with potions here. I can use a tier one damage potion if I wanted to. I don't even think I have one of those though. You have the daycare, which is a pretty cool feature. The rejoin, you could join someone else. You could disable or enable your GPU to save your lag. The settings right here, pretty simple. It's just going to tell you like uh, if you're on mobile or not, you can change the settings for that. And that's pretty much all there is for this first GUI here. So I'm going to show you the second one now. Let me load that up really quick. Okay, so the second GUI here, I'm going to load up into a new game so I can show you. It's actually made by my friend and it's called Zap Hub. So I'm going to be using Delta in this video again. Click on Execute Clipboard and then boom, just like that. It should load up in here like a couple seconds later. Three, two, one. Here it goes. So here's their key system. I'm going to go get the key really quick. All right, there we go. So I put in the key. And by the way, the key system for this GUI is really simple. I think it's just one link. You have this right here, which is your auto farms. Same thing as the other GUI. You could do like the speed for the farm. You could do the mode. So one at a time or several at once. I'd recommend you keep it on several at once. It's just slightly faster than the normal auto farm, which is just defaultly built into the game now, as you guys know. You have the main tab right here where you can claim your rewards. You have eggs where you can open up any egg. You can teleport instantly anywhere. The player tab has like walk speed, no clip. I don't really know why you'd want no clip in this game, but I mean it's there. Or maybe honestly no clip could get you into like the VIP area for free, which would be pretty nice. You have the FPS booster. You can rejoin the same game you're in. You can rejoin the same game in server. This is with regards to like server hopping in the trading plaza or something like that. You have the credits right here, so credits to Zap Hub, Zap.xyz, and 1DNT. You can of course join their Discord right here, but I think you have to to get the key anyways, but big credits to them for making this script. And then the third and final GUI I'm going to showcase in this video is called Red Z Hub, which I showcased in my last video as well. It's a really, really good script. They haven't updated it since my last video, but all the stuff that worked still works. So like infinite pet speed, as you can see I just claimed all my rewards automatically because that's already enabled on here as you could see all three of these things are enabled you have mini games you could do which is just the quests the um the obbies in the game no really quest related stuff besides that you can teleport server hop teleport to machines the miscellaneous tab here lets you server hop which is something the game doesn't let you do anymore but yeah besides that there's not really too much on this gui you could join their discord server though they are keeping regular updates in their community i think right now they're focusing on blocks fruits first 
But once they get done with that, they are probably going to be updating the script for this game, so just keep updated with that. Again, this script has no keys on it, as I showed in my last video. It's one of the only, if not the only, script right now for this game that has no keys on it, which is really respectable. And yeah, so pretty cool GUI here. They do have the same features like the uh, auto-collect coins, loot bags, you could find shiny relics and stuff like that. But yeah, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you can. And as always, peace.